Hi boys and girls, happy Sabbath. I'm so excited to be with you here for another children's story and to talk about Jesus. It's always so much fun talking about Jesus and how good he is to us and how he's an example for us and he shows us how much God loves us. So to talk about that, I have some signs that I wanna show you. So I'm gonna show you a sign and you're gonna tell me what it is, okay? What does this sign mean? What does that one mean, particularly? It means to go, right? This is a, a stoplight, and it tells us to go when the light is green, it tells us to slow down when the light is yellow, and it tells us to stop when the light is red. Okay, what does this sign mean? Maybe you've seen it before. The yellow is a little worn out because my printer uh, decided to stop <laughs> printing yellow, but what does this mean? It means pedestrian crossing. It's it's where you can cross the road, right? With your with your mommy or your daddy. Okay, what does this sign mean? It means to stop. Maybe you've seen it on the side of the street, and when you see it, you come to a stop. You look, you let the people on the other sides go, and then you go. Stop signs are very important. All right, what does this mean? Have you maybe seen this before? This is a yield sign. And what yield means is you kind of have to pay attention to what's going on. If someone's coming, then you're gonna wait for them to pass, and then you're gonna go ahead and go. That's what yield means. It means to kind of just wait and see, and then move when it's safe. Okay, what about this sign? Again, my yellow ink <laughs> decided not to work. But what does this mean? This is a railroad crossing sign. This helps us know um, where a railroad crossing is so that we can be safe about it. Okay, what does this mean? If you can read it, it says visitor parking that way. So if I was a visitor and I was trying to look for parking, I would see this sign and I would know to go that way. Now what about this sign? This is an exit sign. So if I was in a building and I was trying to find my way out where the door was to exit the building, then I would see this sign and I would know to go that way. Signs are really helpful for showing us where to go, for giving us directions, and um, helping us know which way we're supposed to go, depending on what we want, what we need, um, and where we want to go. Signs are super important. Directions are super important. Uh, GPS maps are super important, helping us know what way we need to take to get somewhere. Did you know that in the Bible, Jesus calls himself the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus calls himself the way. Jesus' life, who Jesus is, gives us direction. You know, Jesus came to this earth and he lived a perfect life, which sets an example for us to know how we're supposed to live, how we're supposed to love people, how we're supposed to care for people in need. Jesus also came to show us who the Father is, who God the Father is. Have you ever seen God the Father with your eyes? Probably not. And the people in Jesus' day hadn't seen God with their eyes either, right? But they had seen Jesus. They had spent time with Jesus. And Jesus told his disciples, the people who followed him, the people who learned from him, Jesus told them, if you've seen me, You've seen the Father. He also gave the disciples some really encouraging news, which is important for us today as well. He said, I am going to prepare a place for you in heaven. And if I go and prepare a place for you, then I will come back to take you to be with me so that you can be with me forever. Isn't that amazing? And then he said, you know where I am going, or you know the way to where I am going. And they said, 
Jesus, how can we know the way if we don't even know where you're going? They didn't know that Jesus was going to go to heaven yet. They didn't understand what Jesus was doing yet. And Jesus said, I am the way. If you come to me, I will show you the Father. If you come to me, I will show you the way to salvation. If you come to me, I will save you and you will get to be with me forever. That's what Jesus means when he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We have Jesus to help us know where to go. We have the Holy Spirit who guides us. We have Jesus who is the truth. He tells us what is true and what is not. And Jesus is the source of life. He is how we come to eternal life. Eternal life with Jesus in heaven sounds amazing. I don't know about you, but I'm so excited to go where Jesus is. And thankfully, we have stories in the Bible about Jesus. We have the Bible that points us to Jesus, who is the way, who will show us how to be saved. All right, boys and girls, I hope that you have a wonderful Sabbath. Why don't we bow our heads in prayer? Our loving God, we thank you for today. We thank you for the Sabbath. We thank you for loving us so much and sending your son Jesus to show us the way to you. We can't wait to go where you are at, to be with you in heaven, and to spend eternity with you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye, boys and girls.